What I have here is the Lumeri Smart Wi-Fi Solar Four Zone Water Timer. And this is gonna take my current irrigation setup in the front yard and move it all the way into the future. But before we get into this, let me show you what I'm currently running. I have been using these Orbit Beehive timers for four or five years now. And overall, I have very few complaints about these timers, but they are starting to show their age. First and foremost, these require Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So there is an adapter or an antenna inside the house that these connect to, and the antenna is the one that has the internet. When you gotta link up multiples of these, and when you buy multiples of them, can get quite pricey, especially at the beginning when these first came out and they were like 40 or 50 bucks a pop. Now they're a little bit cheaper than that. And also the app has not been updated by Orbit in forever it seems like to where now I can still schedule a timer to run or create schedules but in order to see if anything's actually running I gotta look at the spigot or the sprinkler itself to see if it's even running and when I'm on the road that does not fly uh, so it is definitely time for an upgrade manual oh my god it looks like looks like we get four nipples looks like these are for quick release uh, systems got some Teflon tape here silicone ring and then you have your actual timer itself and this is much smaller than I was anticipating so I wanted to quickly just show a size comparison so this is the orbit beehive uh, four zone uh, Bluetooth app controlled timer I used this last year for the first time but I mean just look how big that is for a Ford for the for the timer I mean it is m so much bigger um, you know part of it's because you know the Lumeri has them side by side where here it's this U shape I don't know why they chose that but I mean it's just so much so this is such a bigger device than the Lumeri so that's pretty cool first impressions on the box it feels like a really solid device. You know, it is plastic, but it feels, because it's kind of com compact feeling, it's got a little bit of weight to it, it feels like it could take some abuse. Brass fitting up here, which is always nice to see, versus cheap plastic fittings that some come with. And it's just a, a really good looking device. And the solar panel is a lot larger than I thought it would be, you know, compared to my hand. I mean, it's a, it's a good size solar panel and it's just a good looking device. Very sleek and modern looking where you get the old school style. There's nothing wrong with this style. I mean, it's not that I don't like this, but I mean, you just compare the two. This is a much better looking device. So while I'm waiting for the Lumeri to get a little bit of a charge so I can actually use the thing, let's talk about why this is a must have for DIY home lawn care in 2025. And first and foremost, obviously it is solar powered, which is awesome. You do not need batteries to use this device. And I really like that. Now batteries, you know, it's not a end of the world type of thing to have to buy some batteries, but it can add up over time. And so knowing that this does not need it is fantastic. Lumeri says this has a 30% conversion rate and has a super capacitor inside, which helps keeps this running even on cloudy days. I love that it's eco-friendly and pretty much low maintenance. Next up, Wi-Fi and app control. Pair the device with your phone, no extra gateway needed, and boom, you are setting schedules from your phone. You can do it from your couch, from the kitchen, even on work trips, which is a big deal for me. It is even set up to use Alexa voice commands, so I'm already imagining, Alexa, water my lawn. Then there's the four zone precision watering that you get with this device. You know, one zone could water half your lawn. The second zone can water the other half. The third zone can go to the backyard. And the fourth zone could be, you know, to water your garden. That's pretty awesome. It's like having four different timers built in one. And finally, the water saving tech. It has rain delay, so it skips scheduled waterings when mother nature's got your back. It also tracks water flow and adjusts your schedule so that way you don't waste water. So this is perfect for eco warriors or those that are maybe in drought situations. So which of these features do you like best? Comment down below. Now setup is quite easy. They recommend that you set it up to the spigot first before you start pairing it with the app and everything. That way it can start getting a charge. Now I will say this mine did not come charged out of the box, so I needed to give it a charge to use it for the first time. So I set it out last night for a little while and it gave it a charge within 30 minutes to go ahead and sync it to the app, which is the footage you're seeing on the screen. But I got my password wrong and when I tried to do it again, the device died so I didn't get enough charge. But it does have a built 
built-in USB Type-C port so you can plug it in and charge it that way for your first use or you can go ahead, set it up outside, let it sit for a little while, get a good charge and then go ahead and start seeking it with the app which is very simple. In the Lumeri app, you just hit the add device, the plus sign and as long as you, you hit the number one button and then the a light underneath the number one will start to blink, that's in pairing mode, hit the plus sign in the Lumeri app and then the device will automatically, uh, it will find the device automatically. Then you enter in uh, the Wi-Fi you want to use and the password. It will set it up the rest of the way and then you're setting schedules from the comfort of your own home. But I did all that inside. This has a full charge now. So once you get everything connected to the app, which I have here, it's very simple. You can manually water by hitting any one of these buttons for the particular zone that you want to water. You just hit one for zone one, so forth, so on, and some man manual watering if you're outside. But when you're inside and you don't want to do that, you can go ahead and do that here in the app. Uh, duration here, you can just hit single watering. And then it's running. You can see here, on off reminder, you got a little notification there that this is running. And yeah, so it is running. Uh, you can set a duration in here. You know, if you want to manually water, like typically for my overseed, uh, I run it for about 15 minutes. And so it will set a 15 minute timer, turn it off, bada bing, bada boom, you're done. So that is how it's so easy to use. It's just if you want single water or you can set schedules and whatnot by going to timer down here, um, you know, add a different timer. So for zone one, you know, I want it to run, um, like I said, about do about 15 minutes on all my zones uh, during my overseed. And that's if you want to do it by duration, you can hit the various days you want to water. Uh, but this is actually gonna be daily for me to be completely honest. Or you can do a volume, um, you know, with how many gallons that you want to run. Uh, I don't typically do that, but that's how you save money is through the, uh, doing it by um, how much actual water you're using. Uh, you can do it that way as well. Then you would just hit save. I didn't set a start time here, but um, so it's gonna start at midnight, which I don't wanna do. But that's how easy it is to actually use this device. So for routine maintenance of this device, and there isn't a lot you need to do, but you do need to just make sure that the solar panel is clean. I'm sure you can see that. That's just pollen. It's just covered in pollen. So to make sure it's running as efficiently as it is, you know, every once in a while, just go outside and just clean off the solar panel. This is IP65 waterproofed, so you can go ahead and take a little wet rag and just wipe it off if you want to. But yeah, just make sure your solar panel is clean. I have been using this Lumeri solar smart watering timer for about three days now. And at the end of the day, it works. And that's really about as good as you can get with any device, is when you buy a device, does it work? And for three days, it's worked. Future Chuck here. It has been an additional three days since I just said what you just watched. I am traveling for work. And after filming the, that part of the video, that night, all day Sunday and all day Monday, it was cloudy and rainy and the device kept the charge the entire time because today it wanted to start watering again because there was no rain in the forecast, but I manually extended the rain delay for another 24 hours so it doesn't need any water after you know two straight days of rain. Uh, every time it did start to get a charge because it started getting some solar rays, uh, it would give me a notification, hey, it's now the, the device is now charging. So yeah, after five days since the installation it is working absolutely actually it's probably longer than that so Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday Monday yeah about six days uh, it's working fantastic it's worked with two straight days of cloudy weather um, yeah no complaints so far the schedule I have it set up for has it's turned on and turned off when it was supposed to have had a manually water it's done that when it was supposed when I've told it to and it simply works. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know what else to say about it. But the question is, is it perfect? Is the Lumeri Solar Smart Watering Timer perfect? Here's my honest take. For the pros, it's solar powered, so you have no energy costs. For the three Orbit Beehive timers I have, they take two AA batteries each. And then the big one, the big four zone that I have, takes four AA batteries. I don't need to buy batteries anymore to water my lawn. And that is really cool. It is rugged, durable, IP65 waterproof, so this is built to last. And the app is actually very easy to use uh, once you get into it. And the fact that it has four separate zones, it allows you to precisely water your lawn where your lawn needs water. The cons, 
is expensive, uh, especially when you compare it to timers that you can get at your local big box stores. I'm not comparing it to in-ground irrigation because that's not what this is for. This is for hoses and sprinklers, and it is quite expensive. The con, which is also a pro, is that it is solar powered. So if you are in a shady area, your spigot's constantly in a shady area, you may not be able to get the most out of this device. There is a learning curve with the app, but once, like I said, you get into it and you see how everything works, it is fantastic. And then lastly, mine did not come working out of the box. You do need to charge it before you start using it. That's why you, it's recommended. You put it out on your spigot first, give it a charge, and then you can go ahead and set up with the app or just throw it out outside once you get it, let it get charged by solar power, and then put it on the spigot and get it going. But it also has a built-in USB Type-C, so you can go ahead and plug it in inside, let it sit there for a few hours, then go ahead and start hooking it up. So there you have it, the Lumeri Smart Wi-Fi Solar Watering Timer. In my opinion, it is a game changer for busy homeowners who just want to get their lawn watered, who want to get their lawn watered without having to worry about it. It's perfect for people that are eco-friendly or anyone who doesn't want to overwater their lawn. It is live on Kickstarter right now, so click the link in the description to grab yours before it goes away. But anyway, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so already, comment below. Does a solar powered water timer make sense to you? I will see you in the next video. Have a fantastic rest of your day and God bless. Boop.